of these people that we hear these days, Fires, Kureshi and the others, I can tell you that it's still an honor for me to be in your presence, Fires. But if my wife who grew up in Nairobi was here today, she would be losing her mind. Because she adored you people, Catherine Kasavuli, I think she had a crush on, uh, what is his name? This was supposed to be the person who was to deny me a spouse. Yeah, Jimmy Gathu. So it was... <laughs> Jimmy, I can tell you, it was between you and that gentleman who sings called Asha. Lakini mimi ndio niko. So, <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet all of you, to meet uh, Catherine. There are some things that have been said about Catherine. One of the things that was uh, said by the CEO, the, the acting MD of uh, KBC when we were doing the fundraiser, is that Catherine was so well spoken. Her intonation was on point. She delivered the bulletin in the manner in which it was supposed to be delivered. She didn't sound like a lawyer. And we were shocked. We were asking ourselves, Kwani, there's a public expectation that lawyers must sound like Wakoli Bifuoli, <laughs> must sound like my uncle Atwoli, <laughs> must sound like Papa Shirandula the late, or must sound like uh, the other guy from Vioja Makamani, what's his name? Makoha, so that you, you realize that we are lawyers. So I want to say that Catherine presented herself in a manner. And this, the second thing that was said here, I think by uh, 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 Topi when he was speaking, he said that many people are now discovering Catherine's ethnicity in her death, which tells you something about Catherine Kasavuli, that in fact you don't have to lead everything in your life with your tribe. You don't have to start by mentioning who you are, where you come from. Let people know you as a national and international icon. The lady who is uh, lying here today, I believe, is a national treasure. She's a national treasure. Many of us thought she was from Ukambani, as I've been said here. We were only realizing uh, later in life, actually recently, that she's our daughter from Mulembe. And we are very proud to find that out, but that is not who she was. Even in the broader conversation that is happening in the country right now, I want to encourage us, those of us who have gotten opportunity or platform, please, not everything is about your tribe. Your tribe is not what defines you. It is not your purpose in life to advance your tribe's interests. It is your purpose in life to change the lives of the people that you have been elected or appointed to serve. And I want to encourage all the leaders. I want to encourage all the leaders and especially those of us here in Nairobi. Please, and you the people who elected us, encourage us to be objective leaders. Encourage us to see things from the perspective of a nation, the perspective of all of you being our brothers and sisters. I will give you an example. Just meet us from where we are seated here. There is a new road that links Ngong Road to Langata Road. How many of you have used that road? All of you, almost all of you have used that road. Do you know that in 2018, when that road was being constructed, there were people living on that space in Kibra and Langata who had to leave that space for that road to be built. I was just freshly appointed as the SG of ODM. My chairman for ODM Nairobi, Mishmu Aladwa, is here. If then we went there to tell our people, you cannot move, you cannot destroy the, the homes of our people, would you be using that road now? We need to appreciate that there are things called the common good that we must all support. Lastly, I was hoping that Mweshimu uh, Ababu would be here. I have had the privilege, being the SG of ODM, to interact with members of the media. And as been said here by Senator Emeritus of Busia, not everything that you see about the lives of the people you see on TV is as glamorous as it looks. These people have challenges, they have problems, they face issues just like ourselves. Many of these media houses, many of them are my friends, but I must say, they don't always take care of the people behind the screens as much as they should. It is just a fact. When you say you need to dress well, those clothes are expensive. Those clothes are expensive. Shoes are expensive. Sindio, hata siku hizi, kuna ingine ya nasikia wezi soma news bila weave, siju kwa nini? Pia hiyo ikona bei yake. So these people need to be taken care of. And I, am, I was happy that the CS4, uh, because it's not just a CS for sports, is also the CS for our culture. Let us have a way of ensuring that these heroes that we celebrate in death are celebrated even in life. 
we want something national, a national monument, something that we can remember Kasavuli for. Even if for you, as a current administration, just builds one theater or a training school for people to go into TV and production and name it after Catherine Kasavuli, we will appreciate that you have done something for the people of Kenya. I want to stop there and invite my colleagues to also say something. I will go in no particular order except that we must respect presidential candidates. So we will start. <laughs> I want to 